Paintings, drawings, photography, and prints. Whatever medium you think of, this is the place to be. I feel like art is something that everyone can relate to, whether they make it or not, whether they collect it or not, and it's community in itself. A community that's been well underground in the tall city. But that's why Midland AF first initiated the Midland Art Crawl this year. The goal is to give artists a platform so they can make friends, network, and also showcase their art. I see that there is an active art community here. I don't think that the visibility is maybe as as great as it could be. We have lots of different art associations, so we're looking to kind of bring unification, but also get people who aren't maybe professional artists or encourage people to get out and appreciate and understand the community more. Next month, seven local businesses will be home to a couple exhibits the day of the art crawl. This is only the second event and they're already getting bigger and better. They're doubling the number of artists, which is jumping from 12 to over 20. And yes, every artist is local. I think the local art brings it together and art tells a story and people live here and it's something that you can understand more uniquely than if it's an artist from, from elsewhere. Each shop will have a unique URL and card so that whenever you stop by an exhibit, you have a chance to win door prizes. You can also buy work from local artists. The Art Crawl also aims to bring in more artists, so if you are a creator, no matter how you view your work, this is a chance to let your masterpiece be seen. That's a big part of why we started this too, is because it's a it's a low cost of entry in order for you to be able to participate, to get some visibility for your art. And I think that a lot of times, uh, being an artist is one of the hardest things you can be because there's a lot of self-criticism there. And if you can just get someone to see it, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder and someone who doesn't appreciate it, while someone else may love what you do and encourages you to continue creating. So whether you're an artist, a spectator, or a little critter, the door to creativity and inspiration is always wide open. I'm Jolena Okazaki. Catch us next time on The Basin Buzz.